Oh god, dead end, dead end. Oh, in the face, in the face. Not the face, not the face. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome. Oh, there's a zombie there. Okay, with not a zombie, a cockroach. That interrupted my um, intro right there. <laughs> um, okay, so there is a cockroach in this room. We're going to leave the room. And in the last part, we unlocked a um, few doors by putting in those MO discs into the computers scattered around the labs. So we're going to head towards those doors and get out of here quickly. Okay, so we're going to head over to um, those doors now where they've been unlocked and pull the levers. And hopefully that will work. I think we're going to go the long way around because there should be a zombie in the other... If we go the other way, the easier way. Um, also, we've got... If we go in here, we've got a cylinder now as well, a fuel cylinder. I'm sure there was a a fuel thing inside this room. So before we check out those levers and pull the levers where the green lights are, we'll just quickly go in here. And I want to check out what is this thing over here. So if we look at it, it looks like a refueling device. Set the capsule into place. Okay, so we put the empty capsule in there. Okay, we got the fuel supply capsule. So it should the main ingredients of this fuel appears to be nitro compound. compound. Running could result in fatal explosion. So I'd have to walk. Now, hang on a second. If I have to walk, right, I've got other things I want to be doing as well. So and I, I know where we need to take this, and it's past all those cockroach monsters that we were fighting against in the last part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk to the chest. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the chest and then explore this side of the lab first. Alright, so I've just been back to the chest um, and put the fragile fuel in the chest, just so I can run around. You know, because I think you, I think you have to walk a bit because it says running may cause a fatal explosion, and that sounds pretty dangerous. You no. Know? We've got these levers now with the green lights on, so we can pull them all down. We should be able to pull them all down now. Just one at a time, I guess. And that that should have unlocked this door. Okay, so we've got a new zone to go into. There's gonna be some danger in here, I got a strong feeling. Someone with the map quickly have a little Okay, so there's a door at the end that's actually locked. So let's see what that door is and what it says, why it's locked. See if we can figure out how to unlock that. This might be the emergency exit. I don't know. Oh, actually. What? Chris! Jill? Chris! You're alive! Of course I'm alive. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh, it won't open. Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay, no sightseeing though. So all this time Chris has been locked up. Who locked him up, I wonder? Because he was left outside when we first entered the mansion. So we need to find a way to get Chris out. We need to find a key. Hmm. Alright, so we found Chris. We, he's locked in that game. Um, that prison. So we need to find a way to get him out. Now the only ways I can see where we can go is going back through the um, taking the the fragile fuel, putting it in the capsule. Hopefully, I don't know what's going to happen beyond there, but we're going to power something up, I think. Now there is something that we haven't actually explored in this. Um, this room. <laughs> Not too sure what that is. It must be something on the shelf, right? Alright, so we're going to actually head back to um, put the fuel canister in the place it's meant to go. Just got to be careful not to run too fast. And um, I think if we get grabbed and stuff like that, it might have a chance to cause the, the fuel to explode in our pocket. So before we do actually take it past all the the cockroach monsters, we will have to save, because this could end um, very badly. Alright guys, so 
And I'll just save the game. We've got the grenade launcher now with us as well. Because I feel like we need to um, use this. Because I've been finding quite a few sh um, grenade launcher shells. So it looks like it might be needed in the, f in the near future. Got some healing items. And we've also got the fuel supply capsule. Now we need to put this in the boiler room. To um, power up the, the, the stuff. You know, I don't really know what you call it. It's just um, required to fuel things. The power. So with this um, thing in our inventory now, we have to walk. We can walk, run a little bit, maybe like a second and a half before it blows up. And I think if we get attacked by an enemy, we're in pretty quite, quite a lot of danger. So um, I think it's in this room we need to put it. If we just go on this way, we can hear an enemy around somewhere. So we've just got to be careful that he doesn't approach us. And if he does, we'll just take his head off with the revolver. Now I'm pretty sure it's just over here. I think this is it. A fuel supplying device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. Set the capsule into place. Here we go. So this should now have powered the um, the room at the end of these corridors. So if we go all the way through here, I think it's this way. There's a door down here we should be able to go through. So we are allowed to run now because we put the capsule in in place. Um, let's open the map quickly so we know where we're going. I think I have to go around this way, all the way through the door. Get past this guy. Can't, be, can't really be bothered fighting him. Now I think there's two enemies in here. There's one that did it. Take his head off. See ya. Now we've got a computer console here. This should, this should have been powered up. There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up. So we came here to power up the elevator. Is his head gone? Yes, he's still attacked. Look at that. So I think the elevator now is powered up. I don't. There was another computer screen there. I don't think we need to go to that. Hopefully we don't. The reason why I, had, I was going to test it, but then there was a monster in my face, so I just ran away. So I think now if we head back all the way to the um, where the elevator is, we should be able to use it. Now just one more little room to get past. Hope this guy can follow us all he wants because the door's right there. Now at the end of this corridor should be where the elevator is that we've just powered up. Just quickly check the inventory. Yeah, we've got quite a couple of items of healing. We need to re reload the revolver before we carry on though. Grenade launch is looking pretty um, fresh as well. So this should now be um, powered up. This appears to be the control panel for the elevator. Press the switch. Yes. Now it looks like the elevator is on its way. The elevator is working. Alright, let's get in here and see how deep this place goes. I think our escape plan is going to be via helicopter. Because we were reading the security protocols earlier. And it said about um, escaping by, by helicopter. Am I waiting for this to come up? Oh shit, I could have just jumped in it when I wanted to. <laughs> Standing around like a fool. Okay, so I think we're going... Where are we, are we going up, it looks like, if you look out the, out the front door. So maybe we're going to the roof where the helicopter is. Right, okay. Just got to be careful now where we're going. What is in here? A biohazard symbol. Oh, futuristic doors. Wesker. Wesker! <laughs> Barry's a disappointment. It's too bad he wasn't much of a poker player. You were behind all of this. <laughs> Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. So having stars nosing about is an inconvenience. You're just like all the other things. A slave of Umbrella. <laughs> Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. 
The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. That will be the end of my connection with Umbrella. What? What are you planning? I want to show you something. Is he going to open that capsule? Oh dear, this isn't good. This must be the tyrant. Thing of nightmares right here. The ultimate life form. <laughs> Tyrant. Ultimate. You couldn't have been experimenting on people. <gasps> it's beautiful. Not really. For the sake of this thing? You'll never understand. <laughs> oh shit. Was it really worth it, mate? Was it? Hello. I'll right. deal with you, freak. <laughs> oh, shit. Why is he so violent? Um, there were items to be found here. Okay, so this, is a, this is a boss fight then. Of course. I want to see if there's anything we can do around the place. Okay, there's something on the ground there. Uh, we take the laboratory key, yes. Now, do I have to fight this guy here, or do I need to um, just escape? Observation note. The discovery of the... Okay, this, <laughs> this thing's walking around, right? And we're just reading notes. It's pretty silly. Okay, it looks like we found everything in the room. So, um, let's take on this guy. Or maybe... I think the door's probably locked. Let's just try it. Because I don't think... Yeah, it's electronically locked, automatically, in case of emergency. Alright, so let's find where this guy is in the room. It looks like he walks around pretty slowly. We do have a uh, magnum. Actually, you know what? It's a grenade launcher, isn't it? Have that, you piece of shit. <laughs> I don't actually know what does the most damage. What weapon? I'm going to guess grenade launcher because it's an explosion in your face, isn't it? Oh god, dead end. Dead end. Oh, in the face, in the face. Not the face, not the face. Good job you stopped, right? I didn't actually hear as much as I expected him to. He just takes it. He takes it like a boss. He's fallen down. Is he dead? Can we can we escape now? Let's see if you can escape. <laughs> so it's a, it's a short in case of emergency. So saving up all these grenade launcher rounds seems like it was a good idea. What a pathetic way to die. I'm trying to see if there's any um, buttons we can press to open the doors. Nothing really stands out. Apparently you used to release the emergency electronic lock. Release the lock. Yes, please. The electronic lock has been released. Good. So we did just get a new key, didn't we? Let me just look at what that key looks like. Is this the key you used to um, save Chris? It could be. Maybe we should examine the key when we enter, when we leave this room now. What does it say on it? Micro photon. I don't really know what that means. There's nothing unusual. Okay. I think we're done here, right? Apparently there's something to be found in here. Uh, we're going to head back towards Chris. Hopefully we can save him. And because we're going to a bit more close quarters now, I think I'm going to switch back to the revolver. Save the grenade launcher for any more big bad guys. So after all that creation time for that tyrant, 
Didn't put up much of a fight, did it? Alright, so... Save before we carry on. Okay, so we're all saved now. I um, just want to see as well if there's any other doors that are locked. I think the only door I can see that's locked is the one with Chris in. So let's head back towards Chris. And I mean, you would expect this key to unlock the door for Chris. Whoa! They move fast. <laughs> okay, um... The door that's above us. We've been in. Let's head towards Chris. Nice, we've unlocked the door now for Chris. We can get him out. Jill. Sorry about the wait. <laughs> so everything's taken care of? Well, almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. Now where do we go to escape? We need to find out where to go to get to the helipad. Not completely sure. Let's reload the gun quickly. So is Chris going to follow us now? Maybe there's going to be a cutscene as we leave the um, this room, this corridor. So we, as we, as far as we know, Barry's dead as well because he jumped off. He fell off the um, that big cliff. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Okay, so I'm guessing Chris just ran this way. There's no other doors there that would lead to an exit. Which way did Chris go? Are we going up through the um, up the stairs? I guess, right? It would make sense. I don't think any of these any of these other doors lead to um, an exit. I can hear something moving around. Super zombie! <laughs> Where did Chris go? He just left me. What is it with people leaving Jill? Always left behind. Here he is. Good man. So the escape plan, I believe, is to just leave, right? I don't know what the exit's going to be. There's no need to go back. What are you talking about? Can you use the key? I didn't really even realise there was a door there. There's no further use for this key. Discard. Yes. Let's go. Quite a few healing items on the ground here. Now what are they for? Is that shotgun ammo? I mean we don't have a shotgun on us, so we'll leave that there for the moment. I think we'll pick up the healing items, just because we might take some damage now ahead. Whatever's ahead could be dangerous. Okay, so we just got a green herb from that one, and we are on caution. So we'll use that green herb to get ourselves to full HP. Now, I don't know how many slots we need to keep empty. We've got plenty of shotgun ammo if we come to a chest. Speak to him then. We'll just ignore it. Silly girl. Okay. Chris is right behind us now. So hopefully if we can get to the um, the roof. What's this? What's that? Fuse unit. Okay. We might need that at some point. Or we can put it in there, I guess. This sits fit perfectly in there. No, 
We've come so far. We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Chris! Would you let me have my moments too? All right. So much cheese. So much cheese. Okay, so it looks like the tyrants might have got up, or maybe the um, the cockroach monsters. So he's run back now, like an idiot. We could have just jumped in the lift together and got out there. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> if there's ever a lesson to be learned in this game is don't split up. It's a stupid idea. What have we got here? Take the signal rockets. Yes. Let me just examine that. What is that? Flare rockets, it can signal Brad with this. Cool. Okay, so we need to get to a point where we can signal Brad. It looks like we may be on the roof. Should we just stand here and use the... There's a, there's some stairs actually there, so we can go up these stairs. Actually, wait there, no, the stairs are missing. So let's stand in the middle of the helipad. Let's use the rockets. Get back. Please tell me that's Chris. Yes. You made it. So Brad seen our signal, here he comes. Did he pick us up? I hope I think he did, right? There's the mansion. I'm sure it's bigger than that. <laughs> Felt like it was twice the size of that. Is that it? Are we home safe? Hmm. Something is still alive down there. It's just another zombie, I think. There we have it. Resident Evil. Yeah, we're all done. Alright, so... It seems like if you play as Chris, you know, Jill will be stuck in the, um, the prison the whole time. So yeah, it took me a little bit of time to get into this game with, um, I think the main key, the, like a tip for anyone who's going to play this is to keep an eye on the map. You know, it's always a good idea to look at the map. Because um, getting lost in the mansion at the start of the game can be very, like, overwhelming. But overall, like, I, I never played the first game, this game, to completion on PlayStation 1 when it first came out. And I am glad that I came back to it when it came out on PS4, because um, it is a, it's a classic, you know, it, it wouldn't compete, I don't think, with today's games if it came out like this. But because, you know, it is nostalgic and all that, you know, it, it can be worth, it is a, a game worth playing. Just to look back on how, how hard games used to be and how unforgiving with like no checkpoints. I'm, I'm actually, you know what? I'm seeing a lot of things happen in the background here in these credits that I didn't see. <laughs> like there's people that I don't recognize. They, they, that little cut scene right there with the sharks. Like what is that? I don't remember this. Who's this one? Who's that woman there? What's going on? Or maybe this is if you play as Chris, things happen a lot differently. But either way, um, we got the job done. Um, Barry and Wesker were both kind of traitors, two stars, so we dealt with both of them. I think we could have given Barry the gun at one point um, instead of him falling off the um, the cliff that we were standing on. But I don't know what would ha what would have happened if we gave him the gun, if he would have survived or even tried to kill us. So I'm quite happy with the ending. I think there are multiple endings, of course. So um, the ending that happened right there, pretty good. Fine job. 11 hours it took me. Alright, so ammo used, 325. 
Creatures dispatched, 83. Ink ribbons used, 25. Health items used, 25. Now, that seems pretty alright to me. Nothing too silly. The amount of That's quite a lot of bullets, actually, when you think of it. I think the majority of them were pistol rounds. Alright, guys, that's the end of this, this walkthrough. So, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next game. The next game is most likely going to be Dying Light. And I'm also going to be playing the second episode of Game of Thrones after that on 2nd of February. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.